are again. My favourite saying. We are back down Ogmore by sea. Some of you might know it as Cod's Gully, some of you might know it as Sea Lawns. I just call it Ogmore. <laughs> um, I was last down here, I think November or December last year, where I had a couple of small eyes and I spotted my waiting. I've come down today to try and get a double shot of small eyes or rays on the beefed up loop rig. It's been on my mind all week. Um, where do I go for low on Saturday? It's now the beginning of March. There's a lot of rays showing. More spotted and small eyes than blondes and thornies. They're still a bit thin on the ground. So it's a nice morning. It's a small building tide. It's not ideal. Bigger tides are better. But it's very overcast. So all we could do is give it a go. So all I'll be using today is the beefed up loop rig to try and get that double shot of rays. So I'm just going to go ahead and get set up and see what we can get. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly bait up a couple of loop rigs and then I'll get everything set up then. So all I've brought today is sand eel, squid and bluey. You know, not massive baits, just a small sand eel and a wrapper squid. I normally put the bigger of the two on the bottom so it's tucked in behind the lead so I find if you have a bigger bait on the top one top of the loop rig it seems to wobble about in flight a bit more yeah so nothing massive just a two thirds of a sand eel wrapped in a bit of squid. Nice and simple. So that's the first one out there. It's always a rush. You've got to get one rod in the water. Because you never know what's passing. So. <laughs> Probably doggy! Let's get a new one out. Yeah, that's the same loop rig I've used quite a few sessions now. And so it is a little bit looking worse for wear so, it's had a lot of fish on it I 
Yeah, that first cast then was six ounce because it's only a small tide. Two baits, I just thought. I can't cast six ounces too light. So we've got back up to seven. Back up to seven. Oh, excuse me. Better out than in. Be too inflated. Always check to make sure you've gone through all the eyes. So uh, we can snap a rod. Yep, so there we are. We've got the beefed up loop rig. Mine's just a little bit heavier. Mine's a hundred pound everything. Two single sand deals with squid wrap. 200 gram lead. Lovely. First cast, half hour, not even touched. The only positive thing, there's no doggies out there, which is good. But um, yeah, I love the beefed up loop rig, especially with this uh, heavy one. Doesn't even tangle. Lovely. only picking up about 50 yards out. It's currently an hour and a half to the road. So I've got my time. Bluey always seems to pick up those. Sandy and Bluey. on the other first cast now. On this one now, I got a single sand deal and a bluey wrap on both. Because um, the two first ones come in completely untouched. So normally I find Bluey does pick out a fish if they're thin on the ground, so let's give it a go.
The mad thing is, because it's quite flat, when it hits the water, it only looks about 40 yards out. But, uh, yeah. I'm calling that one. Grab the small eye, take it on the top one, single sand and squid, three OBMX. I did the first two hours without a single bite, but kept persevering, firing the baits out at max range, max range. <laughs> I got myself a lovely small eye. I had to weigh it for the ray comp, so it's 2.6 kilos. Whatever that is. Probably five pounds at the So I'm just gonna return it. try again I went to bait up this uh, this rig and uh, looked up my right hand rod was going over like a hound slowly taking line but I know I know there's two hooks on there and I should wait to get a double hook up but when you get a bite like that you don't know if there's two already on there or if it's a decent one I'm part of the bait to go Raycon and that small eye was 2.62 kilos, which is 5.7. It's not even to come close to winning, but I've got a way up. Yeah, that bite absolutely screamed off. So and it's literally just on low water now. So I did the first two hours without a bite. I was feeling a little bit of pressure because like, I don't care if I catch or not. But you don't want to be sat there for a half hour, me babbling on, blanking. So, but I couldn't care if I blanked or not. Sand everywhere though. I literally hate sand. I hate it. Yeah, mate of mine was down um, Ogmore last week. Most of you know Emily Byrne. Good mate of mine. He had 11 small eyes. Look at Square Deal. <laughs> Thank She likes squid. <laughs> oh yeah, protein. <laughs> Doggies. Always make sure your hooks are well away from the dogs. One thing I have noticed when I'm baiting up, I pull some amazing faces. 
some proper gurners. Still plugging away. About an hour into the flood now. I've been here three hours or three and a half hours. I've had one bite, uh, resulting in a five and a half pound smaller. I can't believe it. Not a single doggy in sight. Lots of dogs. Lots of lovely dogs, but no doggies. Bit of a difference. But we're still plugging away with the uh, loop rig single sand eel and a squid wrap um, I said earlier this is a bit different to the ones that VMO were selling well they're the same but mine's all £100 even even the snuds um, but I have noticed I forgot to put a spring on my own one I must have run out for all you lovely people so but yep yeah absolutely love these loop rigs you know it's all I'm going to use from now on around Ogmore because I'm determined to get a double shot of rays it may happen this year it may happen next year but um, we'll keep at it so I've got about another hour um, I've got to be off here by two uh, by one sorry home by two it's now 12 so um, yeah so see what happens give it another hour who knows Nice pull over on my right hand rod, but I can't tell if it's weed or a fish. But it's not a bite like the other small I was, it's just slow. So it hasn't tripped the lead out, so I'm gonna leave it. So if it is a fish, there's a chance for double hooker. It's been nice, quite um, a handful of people recognize me as I'm fishing from the guy on TV or YouTube. Well, the reason why I say TV. A woman walked past with her, with her kid, uh, a little girl, probably about eight to nine years old, and two, two little dogs. Um, she said that I'm on, her, I'm on her TV all the time, pretty much every other day. Uh, her, her husband or her boyfriend uh, watches me on his TV. <laughs> she was like, I should ring him now and tell him you're down here. Say, so, if he comes down, tell him to bring some luck. And one bite in four hours. One bite. One bite. Can we give it, I think, one more fresh cast on each. And see what happens. Yeah, so I've just wound in the first rod to pack away. <gasps> there she is. So I've been down here four hours, one bite, zero daggies. I've been using these loop rigs since last year and they're a bit yeah, worn. <laughs> so, I've made up a load anyway. Make sure you put all your rubbish in a bag. And then the bag goes in a bin. I pray there's something on that last rod.
Well, on that note, the weed is coming through really bad now, as you see. We managed to get one bite, one small eye, five and a half pound. It's better than nothing, I guess. The tide has almost pushed me off the sand. The weed is coming through, so it's time to pull it a day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Sorry, bro.